What's good, YouTube? Your boy SO 8787 Productions. Just wanted to do another video of effects, if you want to call it that, that I use when editing music videos. Um, nothing spectacular. I'm not a visual effects artist or anything like that. I don't try to be. Uh, I don't even know if you could classify these as effects or not, but just what I use to add some type of element to my music videos, you know. Um, I rarely use Final Cut effects just because I think personally that uh, they look kind of not professional. I know a lot of us, once we first get the program, we tend to use a lot of the effects that they offer out of context. And, you know, I got videos that I look back on and say, wow, I would never use that effect again. So let's get started. First and foremost, this is the most basic effect that you could do and probably the one that you'll use the most, which is the flash effect. All right, so the way that you achieve that effect is just take the clip. You could use it on a performance scene, a B-roll scene, any scene that you have, but you just take the clip and you find a point where you want it to flash at. So let's say right there, you hit B, cut the clip where you want it to flash at, um, highlight both clips, right click, uh, create a storyline, and then you'll go over to your dissolves, cross dissolve, you lay it on there, click on it, go over here, change it to additive and you can adjust the amount if you want it bright go 100 you keep it at 50 if you want i usually go 100 and get the flash effect you can also change how quick or how long the flash lasts for by just adjusting the length of it so you want a quick one To shorten it you want a, a longer one just extend it all right on the same clip if you want to kind of give it a the extra effect that you add to it just just hit the T for trim and select one of the clips and just move it and you get that shorten it and get that and another effect is the like a speed up effect all right so the way you do that is you would take your clip so like I say it could be performance b-roll whatever so you would take your clip find a spot where you want it to speed up at hit blade tool or B to cut it you'll cut it at the point that you want it to speed up at hit A for the arrow tool click on the um the half that you cut click on it go over here go to speed I mean go to fast um you can either custom put in a, a percentage that you want to put in or you could just start from here click uh, like four stretch it out a little bit you can stretch out the clip review it so this is what you get that's not fast enough you could just click right here speed it up some more drag it out you know or if you want it slower stretch it out and drag it in some so it's up to you um of course with all these effects you could add the flash into it to give it another element so to do that you would highlight both clips create storyline drag the cross dissolve Put it there of course additive 100 and you get this so all right so that's the speed up effect um another effect 
that I use is the reverse effect. So that will look like this. You know, just that little subtle reverse. Um, on a clip with more movement is more noticeable, or a faster clip is more noticeable, but whatever. All right, so in order to achieve this effect, you will take your clip, put it there, oh, let's drag it out. So this is your clip. You will find a point that you want it to reverse at. Hit the B for the blade tool, cut it at the point that you want it to reverse at. Get your arrow tool, delete the half of that clip at the end, and then you will go in a few frames and let's say cut it here. To duplicate it, you click on it and hold the Alt button on the keyboard and just drag it, place it right at the end. This is also a way to do a stutter effect, so you get this. It's like a deja vu type thing. All right, but yeah, to reverse it, you would click the clip that you duplicated, highlight it, go up here, go to reverse. So now you get this. And of course, you can add the flash to it by highlighting, create storyline, uh, go to additive, turn it up. If that's too noticeable, then bring it in some, get a shorter flash. So I most likely will use something like this. You can also put a flash where you cut it at. And then you can also do a speed up effect so you click on the clip that you reverse go to fast 400 drag it out get this you can also drag the flash effect out a little longer you know you just gotta try different stuff there's no right way to do it. It's all perspective. What I think looks good, you might not like. What you think looks good, I might not like. So this is another example of using the flash effect, using the reverse flash effect and the speed effect at the same time. This is the clip, the original clip. So I found a spot I wanted to reverse it at, which is here. So I cut that, deleted that portion, went back a couple frames and cut it here. So I duplicated it, clicked on it, reverse the clip. But you know, that's kind of slow, it's real subtle. You can't really see what's going on too much. So I went in a little more, cut it there, selected it, and sped it up. I clicked custom, 1837, stretched it out, got this. Just to add a little more to it, put the flash effect, see additive, 100 duplicated it put it over here and then I think I cut a portion of the clip just to add a regular flash effect All right, so put that there additive 100 this is what we came out with not long enough do like this just stretch it out It'll be a lot more cleaner once you're actually in the video editing process because you will go from this into a performance scene at the end of it. A 
another effect I use is um I guess you could call it like a drum roll effect or a flicker effect or something like that but you usually do it to the beat like if you got a hi-hat roll or a, a bass drum roll or a snare roll or something like that you'll cut it cut the video to that snare roll so you could do like this all right so the way I did this was to take my clip and duplicate it let me just cut this off so this is what you get all right so went here listen to the beat like you can hear the drums when you scrub through it cut it there cut it there 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 kind of tedious but just do it all right so you will go in and delete every other one get this it looks like this right now so then after that it still looks the same because the same clip laid on each other so you would you could just highlight this one and scale it up not too much Scale these up too. And just delete every other one. So you get that. Um, if you don't want to do the same clip, you could actually take these clips and just deactivate them you get the black flicker effect or if you had another clip you do the same thing and it'll switch between this and another clip so it's all up to what you want to do with it and it just adds like an extra element when you got it going to the beat you know yeah so that's about it that's um just some of the basic effects that i use in my music videos just to add a little something to it like i said this is just basic it's perspective it's what i like to do sometimes when it calls for it so don't be afraid to uh mix and match them don't be afraid to layer different clips on top of each other with different effects and different transitions and dissolves on it it's all about being creative like just take these and try to make something different with it try to make something better don't duplicate it or don't just use the basic things like most of the effects that i come up with i just i'm just trying different stuff and it, it works or it doesn't you know if it doesn't work uh undo apple z you know if it works then keep going from there so yeah if you guys found this tutorial helpful at all please like subscribe comment ask questions i will get back to all of you thanks for your time thanks for watching